concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Bye, Akuya. What have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do some good. Such I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery number? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Bayakuya was just jerking off in the bathtub all over the place. Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath. Okay. A mixed bath. If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. Bath, bath, bath. Let's get naked, motherfuckers. Let's get naked, motherfuckers. When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Well, it's obviously not Genocide Jill because her t uh, Gene Simmons' tongue isn't there. Toko, did you decide to come here with hear what Alter Ego has to say to you? I, I already heard it with my master. <laughs> with master. So, uh, why are people simping for Resident Evil characters? Which one's the Resident Evil character, Sim? Uh, Sim kid. You don't have to keep saying it anyway. So, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop b bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. Wow. Hey, sh hey, Sean. Hey, uh, I don't. I mean, I want to be famous, but I only want to be famous by making a really hot sex tape with, I don't know. Like, a wacky, wavy, inflatable guy or something like that. I don't know. No, no. I made Master a, a, a promise. Promise? <laughs> Master told me to we'll wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? The, what are you, his dog? If it's, <laughs> well, what Master wants, I'd do anything he, he asks. Oh, God. She's had her tongue so far up by Akuya's butthole. She's been like... She went to aisle seven and like her tongue was like coming out of the back of uh Bayakuya's throat. Yeah, there was a uh <laughs> Heltar is going to take his kids into a car and drive it into a lake at this point. <laughs> If it's what, what Master wants, I'll get you. You just love being mistreated. Well, it's fine. If you really want me gone, by all, all means. Hachu. Hey, guys. What's going on? Um, We'd like you to move. Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. I don't even watch TV no more. I, I watch a lot of Twitch and <laughs> um, Toko. Seriously, I'm asking you to nicely to let us use the laptop. Um, Hell, I, I imagine this is what Heltar's face looks like right now with the kids and Frozen and everything. This is Heltar. He's like, I'm going to murder them. I'm going to murder them all. <laughs> That's Heltar right now. <laughs> I mean, watching Rod will do good for your health. Don't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. How about that? Come on, Makoto. Give her the old one-two combo. One drop to your knees, two <laughs> beseech. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was, a, I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her, and I said... Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? Jill should work at the post office. Yeah. Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating. She just came in her pants. Uh, it is, actually. 
It's probably gone. I reset my fucking here. Give me a second. My fucking uh, computer reset today. Um, and that meant the fucking stupid autofocus on, uh, on again. There you go. There, that shouldn't do that anymore. Rod, focus camera. Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. Oh, there you go. Okay. So you, even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay. The massage chair. Okay. Can women come in a massage chair? I was just thinking about this. There's all these women in here. They vibrate. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just curious. These are the things that come to my mind. You really can. Everyone, come closer. I would assume so too, Byro. I already told Bayakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept all you waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um. I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Kayoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure, I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan but it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. The, that's, I see. it's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was none other than the administra administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. What, wait on, wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been in prison here it wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way! I mean, right now, especially, kid. It was the school itself? <gasps> that doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. Right. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? I mean, I, I almost think that Heltar would throw his children into the uh, the hyena hyena exhibit at the zoo right now. Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy... Host Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of a staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, but um, why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. Well, Heltar, that doesn't mean the hyenas aren't in the, the exhibit right now. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed it, their their questions into the computer. You know what that says to me? That, that Heltar just Googled that and, and got really disappointed that he couldn't throw his children in with the hyenas. And the answer we got was, Sorry, Sorry I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then, and this is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer, and that's it. Indeed. It would appear so disappointing. Wait. Oh, wait. No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. 
The mastermind. Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Do you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. <laughs> the one leading uh, the one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may, w may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster, the headmaster is here in the school. Okay. Then that's gonna be that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma has been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more sus suspicious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I. I'll find a way. Huh? huh? Probably. Kid, between Pittsburgh and Ohio, there are plenty of uh, good old boys that like collecting animals. No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um, Kyoko, what's happening? On, uh, what's going on? I, I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's everything I found out. All the information on this laptop seems pretty old, so that's all I could do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then it really is all over. Hey. Wait. Alter Ego seems to have more to say. Um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um, I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was that flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um, I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but that's why that's why Heltar was really hoping that Joe Exotic would get uh, bailed out so he could take his kids to meet Joe Exotic. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. <laughs> well, then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done. I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. How can a computer program be tired? See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But, but I feel kind of sorry for him. But You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it did, but what's a computer program is designed to do? You don't tell a computer, good job, every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. Oh, so they're not very good, but... This it's a Baby Yoda hangover like sticker, and then I have this one. They don't stay on very well, and that's another Baby Yoda. They just don't stay on the thing very well. And that's a these are from CardKingdom.com. This one and this one. My my sister sent my wife a whole bunch of Baby Yoda stickers for Christmas. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? So I'm guessing that Vissy has come everywhere now, and uh, she's going to be getting stickies off of her for the next week and a half because a couple months of no sexy time, and, and Vissy is just like, make some stickers. Yeah, I've been trying to make some stickers too, but you know, what's the difference between us and the, that program really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and AI. 
alter ego isn't human. I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? I can't, I, I'm not saying you could, Vissy. I'm just saying that it, it went everywhere. That's all I was saying. Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So, so anyway. What? Don't. So anyway, that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Hey. Anyways, there's nothing more alter ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but. Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. Man, she's pissed. The story's got enough track. We should get over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um. I love you, Missy. Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? What? Why do they make us all uh, the us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said what happened. So they. Oh no, they banged at the kitchen. That's why she has to clean the kitchen because there's cum all over the kitchen. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? I have a hard time finding that's true after World War II, but okay. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. What did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um. I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so. I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway, that event leads to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very if nothing least. else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. What? What? Maybe all students were killed or something. However, that kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Could it be? What'd you do? To I know you took a nap. You took a nap. I knew that much. Then maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us knew. That the school had been shut down. I see. <laughs> totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe. But right now, there's only one path to open. A, uh, one path open to us. So... Was it good weed at least, Reed? Reese? <laughs> I said Reed instead of Reese because of weed. We have to find the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make tell him tell us everything. No matter what. As long as we could get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I had to get I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Mm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Uh, um. Oh yeah, good idea. Yep. Oh man, look at She's shooting cum everywhere. Look at that. Look at that. She's shooting cum out of her nose and mouth at the same time. Look at that. That's a lot of cum. Oh, my God. Ah, I chew. Huh? huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean. Oh, oh no. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. Bayuku is gone, but be so mad at me. Whew. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um. Good call. Uh, but as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. Making me angry. Yay, Reese. I'm glad you bought your bet website name, though. That's awesome. It's pounding with anger. <laughs> You're still not mad about what that whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Bzz. Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an in indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building. I feel it building. Now I'm really My head's about to boil over with rage. <laughs> Please. D don't get so angry. Here, let me help center your chakra. Chakra? Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. Yeah, I'm very excited, Reese. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? 
but be careful. He just chanted the incantation of devastation. Huh. No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. But what's he talking about? Reese, you're pretty kick ass. You're pretty kick ass. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. At that soon, the door. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Correct. So it's nighttime. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but n she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um, I agree. It's true. You're such a troll, kid. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Ow. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in the thought. Ugh. My balls are getting all sticky and shit. Just awkward. Not sticky, but... What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my head, mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. I mean, they were not sticky. They were just, like, stuck weird on my leg. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. I wish I came today, kid, but I haven't come today. I came yesterday, though, so. Let's talk a little bit about where I was at before I came a bit, became a bear. At first, I was a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I, suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, oh, the company has been trying to push this for forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we could do a tiger prawn on our budget? So ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. <laughs> Take come yesterday, not today. And that's the secret origin. Okay. I mean, if you're keeping track of all these things. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. Yeah. Get ready to gr First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. Why do they just fucking put you in the fucking goddamn dining hall so I don't have to fucking walk over there? Jesus. Good morning, Hina. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool. Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. You know, when you said Alter Ego was your friend? So, I was thinking um, the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it. So I'm really glad you said it for me. So, thanks. Ee hee hee. You're welcome. Yeah. You're usually like totally normal, but when the time comes.